Hello, and welcome back to the Menagerie Motion Kinetic Derby web series. I'm Hannah Dowin. Today we have Amber Shelton Robinson, founder and owner of Florida Fun Bikes. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for joining. Before we get started, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the bell to receive notifications on our next video. Amber, you and your husband brought Florida Fun Bikes to Gainesville. Can you explain that? Yeah, so my husband and I were really passionate about this project. Uh, we saw it while we were on vacation, and I'm not from Gainesville, but he is, and he said, let's do this in our hometown. So there were a couple hurdles and loopholes that we had to jump through, but we decided to bring it here. No one had heard of a fun bike or a beer bike in Gainesville, so it's been a fun project, and we've been open for about three years now. And uh, when we started, there were a couple fun bikes in town, or a couple beer bikes in town, but now we are the only people in town running a party bike. Wow, very interesting. And um, Florida Fun Bikes also sponsored the Derby in the past. Can you explain that? Yeah, so we actually, our first year in operation, I met with the, the people who put it together, uh, the, the Connect Derby, and we thought that this would be a great way to introduce ourselves to the community of Gainesville. It's a great event. There's so many people out. There's so many great artists and inventors that put these things together for the Derby. And the fun bike is kind of its ready-made, you know, it's, it's its own piece of art. Mm -hmm. So we thought it was just a natural fit. So we sponsored it and we participated in the Derby and it was an awesome event for us because we got so many people who were like, we've never seen this before. What is this? And it was kind of like finding our people, people who were very passionate about the environment, people who were passionate about bikes. You know, we are still a bike, even though it fits 16 passengers. Mm -hmm. And we saw people that were in the same space as us who liked the same things that we liked. So it was definitely a very good event for us, and we can't wait to participate. Very exciting. And what was the Derby like for you personally? For me, it was a, I had never seen anything like it. I'm from Ohio, and if you ride a bike in Ohio, good luck. <laughs> like, that's all <laughs> I can say. We're not as bike friendly. Uh, we don't have bike lanes like we do down here in Gainesville. So it was an interesting experience because I had never seen someone use paper mache or materials to make these inventions on a bike. Mm -hmm. um, we actually got to meet a lot of community leaders and see that people were passionate about just art and transportation and different things. So it was fun participating. It was, like I said, it was overwhelming at first because um, I didn't know what to expect. And I was just like, oh, everyone's just going to be rolling around. But it was an experience for sure, and it was definitely something that I'm glad I got to experience, and I, I recommend that everyone try to do something like that. Absolutely, and what impact do you believe this event has on the community? I think it has an impact on the community because some people are kind of in their own world. They're driving in their car, they're taking their kids to school. They don't see the impact that uh, bicycle transportation can have on their community. And I also think it shows a lot of creativity. Um, I didn't have children at the time, but now that I do, it's something I really want to take my kids to because it's so creative and you see people using their imagination and creating these things. And I think that spark of imagination and creativity can really impact a child to go into engineering, to be more pedestrian and bike friendly. I just think it has so, such a good impact and it's in a positive event. Some events here, they're cultural. They focus on a culture or a certain background or religion. This is like inclusive of everyone. You don't have to be a maker for it. You don't have to be an inventor for it. You can just come, you can volunteer, you can be creative, you can have a good time. And it's like a feel good fun event. So I think it has like a feel good effect on the city of Gainesville. Mm -hmm. You kind of walk away like, wow, this is a good time. It was, it's not a homecoming parade, right. but it's like a parade of sorts. And who doesn't love a parade? Absolutely. And what would you say to those who are unsure of attending next year? I would say like, put it on your calendar, make sure you attend. It's totally like a must attend event. You have to go to see it. I can talk about it as many times as I want. I can tell you that you're going to see some fun stuff. But if you don't go and experience it, you'll never know how much fun it is and what you can learn from it. And then I also would encourage people to get involved. You know, come up with something for the Derby. Have an entry. You know, if you're a business, sponsor it. Like, get involved in your local community because the only way Gainesville is going to grow and thrive is if we all support each other and we all come out and show our community, like, what, what it has and what we have to offer. Yeah, absolutely. And do you plan on going next year? Yeah, so we are. So like I said, we had a couple kids after we started this business. Um, so life will have calmed down for us. So we actually are going to participate again. We plan on being a sponsor. I encourage all other small businesses to try to get out and sponsor too. And, you know, we plan on being a part of the Derby because we want to show the community that not only are we 
a fun bike were a lot of fun, but maybe we'll get more creative this year and try to actually decorate our bike instead of just having just the bike. So it'll be a good time. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, very exciting. Well, thank you, Amber, so much for joining yeah, us today. Thank it was you so a pleasure much for having, having me. me. Thank you so much. And make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for exclusive content. Thank you so much and see you next time.